what is going on welcome back to the youtube channel today we're actually going to be doing diy on how to create your own success so if you've been following the journey if you've been following the channel for a while you know that i am doing tiktok organic and one way to do tiktok organic is a lot of people want to target the u.s but they don't know how or it's always being updated and there's always issues coming along and guess what? I just figured it out. So I'm here to show you guys how to do it. This is like the first time I do a tutorial video in probably forever. But I know it's in high demand. So again, no bullshit. You're going to get straight into it. I'm going to tell you how to do it. Because I know a lot of people do it. So as you know, I'm recording on my phone. I have a phone here. This is... This is an extra phone. You got to get a spare phone. Luckily, I had my old phone as a spare phone. Some people may need to go buy an, an you know phone, so just go on uh, just go on like Facebook Marketplace or something. I don't know. Buy like a second-hand phone. Simple. Then what you're gonna do with that is you're gonna buy a US SIM card. I got the T-Mobile US SIM card. It doesn't have to be activated, but a lot of them online, or probably all of them, are all activated. Just get the cheapest one, get the one, like I think mine was activated for three to six days, but it doesn't matter, you're not even activating it, it doesn't matter. So, that's the setup. Once you got your phone, once you got your SIM card, what you're gonna do is factory reset the phone. Um, again, the way to do that, is you go on settings, if I remember correctly, you go on settings, I think you go on general. So you go on settings, you go on general, and then you have reset iPhone at the bottom. Hopefully you can see that you reset the iPhone. Now make sure if you have any, if this is your old phone, make sure if you have any pictures or stuff that you want to keep, put it on a drive or something. That's what I did. Uh, so you don't lose it because if you factory reset your iPhone, you lose everything. I just want to make that clear so you don't fuck up your shit. You factory reset your iPhone, take out the old SIM card or if there was any and put the new SIM card in. Once you get the new SIM card, put it in and your phone is factory reset. You're going to get the hello or, you know, you're going to get the, the basic screen for the iPhone. You're going to, you know, follow the steps, follow the steps. And basically as much as you could for all the settings, make sure to just say fix later, fix later, fix later, fix later. I, I don't remember exactly, but there's some things like you're gonna have to put your location, obviously put United States, but then just put fix later, fix later, fix later, get on the phone. Now, one thing to do for sure is t once you're on the phone, take off Bluetooth, never put it on. Apparently that fucks it up, make sure to do that. Then once you set the location, obviously in um, US, what you're going to do now is you're going to need to create an, create an Apple ID, an Apple ID, because if you don't create an Apple ID, you can't download any apps. So what you're going to do is you're going to go on the computer and create a US Apple ID. Now, this is where I had the issue that some people have with what you're going to do is you're going to put um, a US address. So but first, you're going to ask for your number. You could put your regular phone number. That doesn't matter. You could put your regular phone number with your area code, but just put the location as US if it asks, put your name or whatever. And if it gives you error, what you're going to have to do, basically the stupid, stupid, but simple solution is just contact Apple support, their chat bot. It'll, they'll answer in under two minutes. And just say, for some reason, I'm getting this error. Uh, I'm trying to create a new Apple ID. Help me. <laughs> and they're going to do some background fixes. They're going to fix some, some settings. They're going to ask for the email you want. So give them an email and uh, they're going to fix it. And all you have to do then is when you're asked for an address, go on fake address generator.com. Generate a, a US address, plug that in. Then you got your US Apple ID. Now go back to your phone and log in on the US Apple ID. So now you have the US SIM card in with Bluetooth, Bluetooth off, logged into your US Apple ID, and technically you are good to go. Now, if you want to make sure this works before even posting or whatever, 
if you go download TikTok and once you download it and you say um, log in, press log in with phone number and the US area code should be the first one, should be the one that's there. That means it, you're in the US. Another way you can check if it works is like, look, for me, it's um, I'm, I live in Eastern time, but now it, this is Pacific time. Like there's there's ways you know it works, and um, that's about it. If you had any issues, a lot of people issues with the U.S. Apple ID. But seriously, the solution is just contact their tech support. It's twenty four seven. They'll answer under two minutes. They do some weird background fixes. They're like, hold on, let me fix something, and they go do some fixes, and they fix it. So again, I hope, if you have any other questions, please make sure to drop them down below. I really hope that I help you. If I explain properly or clearly, again, I'm not I'm not the best with tutorial videos, but if it helps you, drop a like, subscribe, and again, make your fucking U.S. organic TikToks and make some bank, and I'll fucking see you at the top.